So security is really tight here. Yeah. When we landed, apparently some people were uh, running on the front of the highway, and the military got to it right away and started. They fired a warning shot. Um, we're at the Giwan airfield right now. Um, you can see the radar station in the in the end, right to the center of the screen. It used to have a radar, a ball, which was the radar tower, which is completely gone right now. And um, we're glad that the weather is clear here. And uh, it's just utter destruction. I have to brace myself for what I'm about to see when we go into town. Wow, this is... Oh my god. He's saying he's hungry. This is the mayor's house on the left. Yeah, that's his house. He used to have walls around it. Okay, so right now I'm here at the Municipal Hall of D1. We just arrived. There is peace and order here. Everybody's nice, everybody's still smiling. Although it's night time, we can already see the devastation that's occurred. Uh, we just brought in our medication, our medicines and our team. And it looks like we're going to set up base here at the Municipal Hall. And uh, everything seems to be very coordinated. All the relief goods that have arrived so far have been secured. There's no looting, there's no crime, everything is peaceful here, and the airfield is in mint, perfect condition. Um, the town, I'm afraid, is the opposite. Uh, I can't recognize this place anymore, and I'm scared to know what it's going to look like in the morning. So right now we're coordinating with the mayor and the municipality, and we want to make sure that um, you know we get our job done here. Um, so I'm a little bit overwhelmed at the moment right now. And, uh, uh, you know, I just want to be able to set up camp somewhere that's safe, and um, we'll see what it looks like in the morning. So just to give you a bird's eye view of what the inside of this municipal hall looks like, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Okay, so what were you saying? This was the, this is the second floor, is a private room supposed to be, but we're putting in patients, obstetrics and guy, uh, obstetrics and um, pedia. First floor is first floor is OR supposed to be that will be male and female, but we can because of what happened, it's medical ward today. And then the the the, the trauma center we converted this area. So all the patients. From here up to there are victims of okay. Yolanda. Okay. Now, how many patients do you have now? Census is 18 here, 7 down. Okay. And how many people are injured in this? Uh, the one injured is... Uh, I forgot to say this. But just an estimate of... No. Since, since the typhoon, we already treated around 600. Huh? Injured. And then we have 10 okay. dead. 10 dead. Tw uh, 600 injured. And then 10 dead because of okay. the, 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 the typhoon. Okay. So, so far, uh, the hospital is 
servicing any kind. But if we cannot manage, especially if it is skull injury or spine injury, we manage only first, we give first aid and then we okay. transport it to Manila to, using the C-130. Um, okay, all right. So um, we'll give the... Third floor. Isn't it quite easy? Third floor. Nabi mo naman third floor. Mana ha? Ay, ay, ano lang. Third floor. Room 308. Doko na lang po ito yung mga kanyula. Kanyula. Oxygista, Lista, please. Kanyula, adult and oxygen kanyula. Opo, pati ay yun. Ay, isa. Zero na? Ah, uh, wala nang pampedya, puro adults na lang. Tapos mga more than 10 na lang. For adults? This is the area that has a mass grave for 18 people who died. Though. 18, 21. 21. Oh, from Bahan. From, what's the name of the town? Pagnamitan. Pagnamitan. Pagnamitan town. Where and, is this mass grave? Uh, I don't know, but look at all the coconut trees that have snapped. Huge trees have fallen down. 100% of the structures have been crushed. Trees, I was just here like a couple of weeks ago. Hey, sorry, are you able to? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. Almost every weekend, every other weekend. Wow, look at all these fish that are washed up. We got an octopus, we got a nurse shark. The pole. the beach of Golos, dead fish that were washed up in the tidal wave. This is Golos Beach, which is now a long, white, wide, white sand beach. Metal pieces from under the ocean were washed up on shore, and now there's thousands of dead fish and birds on the beach. Yes. So we're here now at the surf camp, which is completely demolished. Right at the entrance. Everything is gone. 